Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to the St. Bernard Middle School 8th grade class of 2022-2023 promotional ceremony. I am Mr. Morales, St. Bernard Middle's assistant principal, and I will be your MC this morning. We are here today to acknowledge and honor these amazing young adults, to show their ceremony the utmost respect, and because events like this are sacred and should be, I need all guests to silence cell phones and electronic devices and refrain from disruptions throughout the ceremony. Again, welcome. Would everyone please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance to be led by our eighth grade class president, Ms. Danae Meyer, and remain standing for the invocation to be given by our student of the year, Ms. Gracie Robin. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pray with me if you will. Dear God, please bless us and carry our thoughts and ideals. Help us bring them to fruition. With the school year coming to a close, it feels surreal. How did we get here so fast? I guess time flies when you're having fun. As we reflect on this year, we realize how many things we're grateful for. So we thank you, God, for the friends and memories we have made. We thank you for the opportunities the school has given us. None of it would have been possible without all of our administrators, teachers, and students who put forth the effort to make our middle school experience so amazing. Thank you, God, not only for them, but for the staff who kept this school safe, clean, and fun. Because of them, we have looked forward to walking into this building every day. St. Bernard Middle really does feel like a second home. God, we feel bittersweet emotions leaving these past three years behind. We all came in together as young sixth graders during a time of so much uncertainty. We bonded, we grew together, we learned together, and now we part ways. I know that I'm excited for the new endeavor that awaits, and I can't wait to see where the next four years takes us. Please bless us all as we move into our high school years. The thought of being a little fish in such a big pond is a little scary, and I know nothing will compare to the family-like feeling that St. Bernard Middle has to offer. And for this, we thank you. God, please bless my peers as I wish all of you the best of luck. God, please grace our teachers with the incoming eighth graders who are as amazing as we are. Please also send reminders to the dance team, the athletes, and the music makers. Never go up, give up, and always enjoy what you do. And please send sweet little thank yous to our administrators for keeping our school responsible, respectful, and positive. I know I'm not the only one proud to be able to call myself a Regal Eagle and be a part of something so amazing. For all this, we ask you for our blessing and give you praise. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Danae and Grace. At this time, I'd like to introduce our faculty and honored guest. We have Ms. Doris Voce, our superintendent. We have two of our school board members, Ms. Rosalind White and Mr. Henry Rodriguez. And our cultural arts director, Mr. Charles Cassar. 
For our staff, we have our instructional coach, Ms. Amber Borchers. Our counselor, Ms. Christian Ramirez. And some of our eighth grade teachers, Ms. Courtney Haney. Ms. Heidi Scharfenstein. Ms. Shannon Geraci. Mr. Brian Vizet. Ms. Tanisha Tenson. Our school librarian, Ms. Rebecca Wood. And our school nurse, Ms. Sandra Nusio. We're very fortunate at St. Bernard Middle to have such an amazing support team. We thank each of you for all you do for our students. And speaking of amazing, please help me in welcoming to the microphone our amazing principal, Miss Angela D. Siebert. Thank you, Mr. Morales. Welcome, everyone. I am, in fact, Miss Angela Siebert, the principal of St. Bernard Middle School. The kids call me Miss Siebert. Sometimes they call me Siebert. Sometimes they call me best friend, but that's usually when they really need something. Parents, you, you kind of know what that's like, I'm sure. But no matter what their mood or what they call me, I am honored and humbled to be their principal. It is my privilege to lead this family of students and educators on a daily basis. I want to give a sincere and heartfelt thank you to the parents, family, friends, faculty, and honored guests for being with us today and for always supporting St. Bernard Middle. Today is my absolute favorite day of the year. You guys have earned it. But this moment is about you. So to you guys, here is my message to you. The first thing I want you to know and never forget is that I love you all and I'm so proud of each of you. Watching you grow into the exceptional young adults you are today is an absolute blessing. You each have a special place in my heart forever. You know, my favorite poet, E.E. E. Cummings, has a quote that makes me think of my students every time I see it. He says, it takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. So always be yourself. Don't be a follower. Don't get caught up in the things that don't fulfill who you are meant to be. Keep your hearts pure and true to you and continue to grow every day. And if you feel anything in your heart today, if you carry anything away from this day, take with you the love and joy in this proud moment because you have absolutely earned it. To close us out, this is Ms. Siebert signing off for the 2022-2023 school year, but always remember to live by the Eagle Code and that's? Absolutely. This is St. Bernard Middle, one school, one family. Congratulations, guys. Thank you, Ms. Siebert. At this time, to present our presidential awards, I invite our instructional coach and eighth grade sponsor, Ms. Amber Borchers, to the microphone. And to the awards table, I invite our school counselor, Ms. Christian Ramirez. It is now time for our 2023 President's Awards. The President's Award is a high honor bestowed upon students who are elite and stand out from the crowd. The President's Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement is awarded to students who have earned a cumulative GPA of a 3.2 to a 3.49. The President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence is an even higher honor. This is for students who've earned a cumulative GPA of a 3.5 and above. Here is a message from the White House in this regard. Congratulations on receiving the 2023 President's Education Award. Young leaders like you are why the First Lady and I are more optimistic about the future than ever before. This award is a testament to your hard work, tenacity, and perseverance. You have shown your family, friends, school, and community 
what you can accomplish, and you should be very proud. Keep the faith, your president. Our president's award for outstanding academic achievement are Hunter Brandt, Darion Davis, Kylie DePola, Brinley Doty, Brody Dracy, Emma Gould, Journey Green, Mikea Hill, Aiden Holland, Devin Meyer, Rennie Morales, London Pembroke, Avery Serenay, Avery Truel, Cecilia Wallace, Jemiah Williams, and Ava Yarbrough. Our President's Award for Outstanding Academic Excellence are Eli Barnes, Caitlin Bostic, Haleen Casabon, John Farrell, Madeline Loga, Peyton Lerman, Adelie Menino, Danae Meyer, Lindsay Nakosha, Ava Phillips, Gavin Pullman, Wyatt Record, Gracie Robin, and Kent Thompson. Congratulations. Hello, it is now time for some special awards. This year I'm excited to give the Citizenship Award to a student who is the ultimate citizen at St. Bernard Middle. If Eagle Country was a town and you lived in it, I promise you would want to be this one's neighbor. This young man is fun, goofy, always willing to lend a helping hand, and truly cares about his school, friends, and teachers. I'm proud to present this Eagle Country Citizenship Award to your favorite neighbor, Mr. Leon Perala. Our next award is called the Regal Eagle Award. This award recognizes a student who has shown phenomenal growth in his or her middle school years. I can say that this year's recipient has grown tremendously over the years, and I am absolutely honored to recognize this amazing student. This Eagle spent a little bit of time in the office in sixth grade year, but over the course of her years here, the time spent in the office was for things of a more positive nature. 
I've watched her become a mature role model for her peers, a leader in and out of the classroom, and a truly positive person who fully commits to worthy endeavors in and out of school. It is with great pride and honor that I present this year's Regal Eagle Award to Miss Kendall Blaze. As most of you know, every year a group of amazing students go through an intense process of selection for the student of the year. To be nominated, students must be in the top 10% of their class, have excellent attitudes, and be involved in extracurricular activities. From there, students write essays, create portfolios, and go through an interview process. After all scores are tallied, our, students of the year, our student of the year is selected. While it's no secret who our student of the year is this year, it is my absolute privilege to honor her again today. She is generous, respectful, a wonderful writer, and kind of funny too. Congratulations, Miss Gracie. Our next award is called the Susan DeFest Memorial Award. Ms. Susan DeFest was the first principal of St. Bernard Middle School, and this award is given in her honor to a student like her who loves and takes extreme pride in St. Bernard Middle. It is my true pleasure to honor a young person who is kind, helpful, enthusiastic, sets a positive example for fellow students, and puts a smile on everyone's face daily. I honestly believe that if every student here, every student here would agree that this young lady loves St. Bernard Middle. Not only is she involved in clubs, she also shows her love for St. Bernard Middle by earning high grades and setting a positive example for her peers. We will surely miss her next year, and I am certain she will make us proud in high school. This year's Susan DeFest Memorial Award goes to Miss Kayleen Casbon. And finally, some principals' awards. Our first principals' award this year goes to a young lady who is not only well-rounded, but extremely grounded. She is involved in many teams and clubs in her time at SBM. From sports to class officers, she can do it all. She is talented, yet humble, and this is how she makes St. Bernard Middle a better place. We will miss her next year. It is my honor to give one of this year's principals' awards to Ms. Jemiah Williams. The second principal's award goes to a student who also displays well-roundedness. A student who not only has a high GPA, but also a high level of involvement in school activities, sports, and clubs, in addition to having a wonderful attitude. This student is a hard worker and will do anything that is asked and do it well. Daily, he shows his love for SBM, and I am certain he will make us proud in high school next year. This year's second principal's award goes to Mr. Brody Geraci.
Our third principal's award goes to a student who succeeded sort of quietly this year. This young man is special because of his approach to respect. It's not deliberate for him, it's mostly just his way. Gentle, taking it all in. He seems to look at school life with appreciation and it makes us all smile. This young man is talented, hardworking, and an all around good student. It's us who appreciate him. This year's third principal's award goes to Ian West. Our next principal's award goes to a student who is a standout among her peers. She works hard, earns high academic marks, is well-rounded, and loves school. She is a quiet leader among her classmates, but can also be very outgoing. And what's so great about this is that no matter what version of her you encounter, you will always see a kind, respectful, and thoughtful young lady. It is my privilege to give this principal's award to Miss Maddie Loga. And our final special award of the day is the fifth principal's award, which goes to a student who has absolute class. She has great grades and is involved in many activities. She works hard in all of her commitments, is super talented, lives by the Eagle Code every day, but what makes her deserving of this award is that she has done this consistently as a standout student all three years at St. Bernard Middle. She's always respectful and smiling. We will miss her next year. This award goes to Ms. Kylie DePola. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for. On behalf of the administration and faculty of St. Bernard Middle School, we confirm that these students have met the requirements of the eighth grade set forth by the St. Bernard Parish Public School System and are pleased to present them with their certificates. As I call your name, please accept your eighth grade certificate with honor. We are so proud of each of you. We ask that the audience hold their applause until all names are called so that each student may hear his or her name called. Again, we ask that the audience hold their applause until all names are called so that each student may hear his or her name called. Faculty and honored guests, please come forward to help us in this endeavor. And now, let's honor the St. Bernard Middle School 8th grade class of 2023. Isabella Wednesday Grace Adams. Eli David Barnes. Luke Lewis Battle. Jamari Brianna Bianami.
Aaliyah Miracle Blaze. Kendall Chase Blaze. Kimani Chance Blaze. Caitlin Marie Bostic. Hunter Michael Bryant. Brandt, excuse me. Shamor Cache Braxton. Demonte DeAnthony Robert Brown. Dolman Brown the third. Mariah Michaela Brown. Devon Latrell Bryant. Milady Carida Cabrera. Logan Malaya Campbell. Carmela Elizabeth June Canale. Helene Rosa Casabon. Brayden Xavier Clave. Cache Khalil Cooks. Darian Spencer Davis. Cassidy Evangeline Davis. Kylie Jean DePola. Brinley Allison Doty. Kennedy Maria Durapo. Rodney Anthony Evans the third. John Peter Farrell. Zion Tron Lee Franklin. Brody John Geraci. Emma Johanna Gould. JL Armani Grayson. Journey Amaya Green. Andrew Troy Guerra. Chloe Lynn Hartwick. Landon Brady Hopman. Joshua Michael Heidel. Jaden Cortez Helmstetter. Nevea Sine Henry.
Addison Ray Harlickson. Heidi Desire Hernandez. Jordan Anthony Hill Jr. Makia Tyshell Hill. Malaya Najay Jackson. Stephen Albert Jackson III. Dominique DeKalen Johnson. Jason Tremaine Johnson Jr. Jayla Janine Johnson. Landon Bernard Johnson. Sky Tarajay Jave Jones. Chancity Armani Kennedy. Madeline Grace Loga. Brittany Janice Lebeau. Brooklyn Bella Harmon Lee. Peyton Alyssa Rose Lerman. Elijah Ventrell Lewis. Sasha Carolina Lacona Funes. Adelie Adriana Menino. Shane Edward Martin Jr. Alexis Nicole Mayer. Carson James Mellorine. Lathan Louise Mellorine. Paris Lynn Manessis. Danae Jalen Meyer. Devin Tyler Meyer. Thomas Patrick Miller. Ashley Michelle Molina. Michelle Theodora Molina. Ava Antonia Monas. <clears throat> Rennie Gerard Morales, Jr. Harlem Rashad Murray. Sincere Smith Neighbor. Colin Andrew Nellig. Lindsay Marie Nicosia. Angie Nicole Palma Torres. Thomas Ty 
pain. London, Sinai, Pembroke. Leon Joseph Parala. Lael Allison Peters. Ava Nicole Phillips. Jewel Trinity Pierre. Gavin Anthony Pullman. Javier Orlando Ramirez. Antonio Leonce Renier. Jace Markai Richard. Wyatt Fisher Record. Rayshawn Nolan Richard Roberson. Gracie Kennedy Robin. Makai Anthony Roche. Roni Jose Rodriguez. Gabrielle Sharice Senegal. Avery Lee Serenay. Chelsea Rihanna Sill. Janaya Linnell Sylvester. Lexi Jewel Thomas. Kent Edward Thompson, Jr. Courtney Matthew Treadaway, Jr. Landon Maximus Treadaway. Logan Mark Treadaway. Avery Rose Truel. Antoine Quinton Vickers. Kamari Unique Vickers. Cecilia Noreen Wallace. Ian Jacob West. Jaleel Jared Frank Williams. Jemiah May Williams. Ava Rose Yarbrough. I now present to you 
the St. Bernard Middle School, eighth grade class of 2023. On behalf of the administration, faculty, and staff of St. Bernard Middle School, I thank the eighth grade class and their families for our time together. I'd also like to invite all of you to join us on the first floor after the recessional for photos and goodbyes. And without any further ado, we present to you for the final time, the St. Bernard Middle School eighth grade class of 2023. balanced on a razor blade we are designed to love and break and to rinse and repeat it all again i get stuck when the world's too loud and things don't look up when you're going down i know your arms are reaching out from somewhere beyond the clouds you make me feel Somewhere beyond the clouds, you may be. 